Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. Now for today's episode, I want to talk about how you have to act accordingly. If somebody decides to ghost you, respect the dead and never disturb them again. If someone decides to give you the silent treatment, enjoy your quiet time. Maturity in acting accordingly is allowing people to be themselves so that you can see what they rather do and where you stand in their life. Then you need to adjust your boundaries and act accordingly to that. You have to stop chasing people. You have to stop being so bothered by other people's energy and what other people decide to do with their life. Regardless if your life and their life intertwines, you cannot control anybody on this earth, not even your children. And I see parents trying to do that. The only person on this world that you can control is yourself. So when someone does you wrong, when someone acts out of character, which is really them showing you who they are, set boundaries and act accordingly stop letting people bother you you have to forge some type of self-worth you have to know when enough is enough you have to know when somebody is playing you and using you and just because somebody keeps you around does not mean that they value you does not mean that they love and respect you i've told you guys this before Stop doing certain things for people and see how they act. Embrace their choice and freedom to do what they want. And all you have to do is act accordingly. If you're with somebody and they want to go be with somebody else, act accordingly. Let them go be happy because I guarantee you the grass is not greener over there and they will be back. If somebody wants to lie to you, act accordingly. Act like you don't even know what's going on set boundaries and when that person asks you why you're acting different then you can tell them y'all need to learn how to move in silence y'all need to learn how to not wear your emotions on your sleeves set strong boundaries and when somebody does something to you that you don't like yes speak up about it but if they don't change act accordingly there are over 7 billion people in this world why are you trying to control one specific person and make them treat you right, make them act right, make the relationship last? Why are you chasing them? Why are you putting up with things that you should not? Why are you allowing this person to run all over you just for an ounce of love, just for an ounce of gratitude, just for an ounce of attention? Because that's all you're getting where you can manifest your dream partner. You can find somebody who is exactly what you want. And if they're not exactly what you want, they are so self-aware and so mature that they will change and evolve into a person that would add to your happiness. Stop chasing people. That whole saying, oh, I don't want anybody new. I just want my person to get their shit together. They're not your person. They are not your person, especially if they can't get their shit together to be with you. God literally puts it in your face. Who is for you and who is not. But you guys keep ignoring the red flags because you don't know how to be alone. You keep ignoring the red flags because you don't know what you want. Or you do know what you want, but you don't have enough boundaries, enough balls to stand up and be like, hey, you are not adding to my happiness. Hey, what you're doing does not make me feel good. You're afraid to detach from people. You are afraid of failure. You are afraid of starting over. If you want to keep kissing frogs until you find your prince, that's on you. That is on you. 
you are in control. You have to act accordingly. You have to set some boundaries, you guys. But I am sick, okay, Ori? You manifesting goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday. Rain, sleet, snow, hail, sunshine. I'm out here. Bye.